Good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Welcome you all to this uh, early morning uh, or early Sunday morning broadcast. My name never changes, still remain your one and only. My is from the platform of Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to the undiluted truth about this uh, Biafran struggle, about the case of Martin Namdekano, and uh, about the self acclaimed Prime Minister of the Republic of. Uh, Biafra in exile. All of this one, all of this story with them. Bring everything together. Come bring on a say, make on a use on a mouth or on a mind, or on a head. Come the judge waiting to happen. Anyway, I don't want to take much of a time. Let me use this opportunity to do what? To wish uh, to wish every of my fans out there, family members, uh, lovers of uh, Biafra freedom and lovers of mankind. Even if you still love uh, or still believe uh, in that country or that contraption. Uh, Called uh, Nigeria, my dear, up to you. It, it depends on you to choose. Uh, Hena, it's only you have the the right mindset to choose uh, where to belong. Either you belong to the Bia France or you belong to Nigeria, or you can as well make yourself available to belong to the world. <laughs> so that's all it thing take be. Anyway, my wonderful people, there's a, a very headline, a very important headline I have for us this uh, very Sunday morning. And uh, it have all it have uh, to do with Martin Namdekano's freedom. In fact, the Hondes and the believe you know say why I, I keep on calling them Hondes and the believe is that today they will say another thing tomorrow they will come back and uh, say another thing. They always speak from the two sides of their mouth, so they are they are, they are never consistent in one place. You keep on jumping from one place to another like Akuna Akuna <laughs> or Akuna Akuna Akuna. <laughs> so my wonderful people, Hondes and the believe of your Hondes and the flavor. Or maybe we can manage to call them Ohaneze Ndibo. They don't smoke Igbo again. Come carry the waka. Come enter House of Assembly. Say they are ready to do what? To sign Shoti for the release of Maze Namdekano. Hey, this one, this matter, no be small matter. Oh, eh? It's a very, very big matter. Whether they are just waking up from their sleeping slumber or they just, uh, maybe they don't, they are on colos. I don't know because, hey, they. <laughs> This one has a Ndibo. I don't understand the, 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 their mode of operation. Today, they will, they will side the Bia France and the Mazenam de Kano. Tomorrow, they will be against it, the Ibos in totality. Anyway, uh, that one is a, uh, it should be a story for another day. But whichever way it is, so, make on hear this breaking news. Ohaneze meets National Assembly says it is ready to sign Shorty for IPOB leader Maze. Namde Kano. So, on Adon Yaramo, this is one of the headlines uh, we have for us this very Sunday morning. I mean, uh, this news is going to be very, very brief. I'm not going to make it uh, a very longer one. No, I want you to start the news and you complete it. That is the only way you can understand every line that being read on that very particular news. So, we're going to hear another different headline. Oh. This one is coming from the office of uh, the the uh, the so the inquisitive uh, man who who is trying one way or the other. I mean, not in one way or the other. Who is trying? Almost over thirty years ago, he is keep on contesting and want to become the president of the Nigeria. To the extent that uh, even Abado say he will run, run, run until he get tired. He will never become president. <laughs> Atiku Abubaka, he talks say different information on Abado's documents have validated uh, my claims according to. Waziri Adamawa, which is a uh, Atiku Abubakar. Well, uh, this controversy of uh, uh, whether you acquire degree or uh, not acquire degree, uh, I, I don't think uh, anything, any issue that got to do with uh, this so called uh, Tunumbu will be a surprise to everybody because everything about him is controversies. His uh, parents, where he, he, man, he man, emanated from, either he is a Lagosian, either from Oshu or Ogun State, nobody knows till today. Who are the, your classmates when you were in secondary or primary or sec, um, um, uh, nursery school? Nobody knows. Then uh, where did you attend your school? Nobody knows. All these things keep on happening even before that election. You forfeited over 460,000 US dollars to the United States of America's authority simply because of uh, illegal shadings you are doing then. You come out to debunk it, nobody come out to tell the Nigerians. The people that you wanted, uh, want them to vote for you. Simply because you have already made all the whole necessary uh, plans. 
I've already paid all every every person that that we read that election. That is why I don't even have the time to come to the media uh, and debate like this, like that. I tell you people what I will do or what I will not do. Most of the campaigns is just go there, A, A, B, C. They will keep on dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing, and at the end of the day, they go back home. So everything about this man is controversy till today. The winning of election is controversy. It's still, it's still being contested in court. So it is a matter of prejudice. I cannot uh, comment too much so that uh, <laughs> they will not sue me to court. Anyway, my wonderful people, make on see. Now here we go take start our news so this very morning. Well, before they know, let me help me subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and the okay, of them or make sure you share this message. Let it go viral that on Hanese Ndibo, they don't wake up from their sleeping slumber. Let us go there. Don't forget that today is Sunday. The organization also said that nothing will happen or nothing will gladden their heart anyway. Let us start the news. And there's a Ndibe, 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 and there's a Ndibe, Beach National Assembly says it is ready to sign Shoti for IPOP leader Namdekano's release. The organization also said that nothing or would gladden their hearts of Igbo people than the unconditional freedom of self-determination at the tertiary at the title, which is Mazen Nam the Kanu. The Apex uh, Social South is a social cultural uh, group. And as uh, Ndibu has declared its readiness to sign an indemnity agreement for the Nigerian government for the release of the detained IPOP uh, leader. Uh, or for the detained indigenous people of Biafra IPOP Nam the Kanu's leader. The organization also said that nothing will gladden the hearts of all the Igbo people if Martin Damdekano is being freed. The National Publicity, Se Publicity Secretary of uh, Ohaneze, Dr. Alex Obenaya, who spoke on the heels of the call by the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee interfacing uh, with the security agencies on the spot of insecurity in Isikwato and Omunochi, Federal Constituency of Abia State, called for Kano to be released unconditionally, saying the move was part of the efforts to address security challenges in the Southeast. According to Daily Sun, the chairman of the Ado Committee, Obina Agota, stated at the investigative hearing organized by the panel in Abuja that addressing security challenges in the zone will begin with government adherence to the rule of law, justice and inclusion of the zone in the Nigeria project if they want peace to reign in the southeast. According to the news, Obenaya expressed gratitude to the federal uh, government or federal legislators for realizing that without security, there would never be progress, pointing out the group had continued to push for Kano's release to restore peace and security in that very particular zone, which is the southeast. Realizing or uh, yeah, realizing that realizing that uh, the incarceration of uh, Nam De Kano's something that Ohaneze has been talking about. So there is nothing that will delight Iwanyamu much more than releasing Nam De Kano because that has been the stand of Ohaneze. Whatever is is the issue, we will handle it diplomatically and politically, uh, and politically uh, according to Emmanuel Iwanyamu. Political solution will solve the problem. Continuous incarceration of Nam De Kano does not help matters because it helps to create tension in Southeast and increase the insecurity in the region. Two points I am trying to make. One is to thank them and secondly to respond to the call made by Ohanese Ndibo, led by Chief Emmanuel Wanyamu, to release Nam De Kano. The third one is that we are prepared to guarantee that Nam the Kano will be of the required conduct. The Hanese spokesperson stated that is Alex Obenaya. In another development, different information on Tunumbu's uh, documents have validated my claims, according to Wazirin Adamawa Atiku Abubakar. The president uh, or the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 uh, just concluded the general selection. Atiku Abubakar has said that the different errors discovered in the certificate of Bolame Tunumbu validate his discovery. 
Nigeria News recall that Tunumbu, in response to the petition of Article in Federal High Court in Chicago, Illinois, United States, blamed the errors discovered in his academic certificate on the clerk of the Chicago State University. Speaking in a statement issued on Saturday, the former vice president argued that documents submitted by his lawyers in the United States and Nigeria showed disturbing discrepancies and circumstantial fallacies in Tunumbu's academic records from the university. According to him, one of the documents, for the instance, is the certified true copy of the certificate submitted by Tunumbu to INEC on 17th June of 2022. And according to Articles lawyers, this purportedly is the certificate issued to him by Chicago State University, showing that he attended the school and evidencing the degree he was awarded. In another document is a copy of a letter dated September 22, 2022, from Mr. Caleb Westberg, the registrar of Chicago State University, attaching a copy of the certificate issued to Bolame Tunumbo in recognition of the degree he was awarded by the said university. There is another document which is a copy of the doc of the certificate forwarded by Mr. Westberg, as mentioned above, in response to a subpoena that was issued in Chicago State University in respect of Bola Ahmed Tunumbo's academic qualifications and achievements. There is also a copy of the bio or bio of a Dr. Neva Lubin Johnson. Dr. Lubin Johnson was the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Chicago State University from January 2001 to December of 2022. Also is a copy of the bio of Dr. Eleonora D. Daniel. Dr. Daniel was the president of Chicago State University from 1998 to 2008. However, the interesting thing upon further examination of this document is that why they all speak to the same subject to boost academic qualifications from the Chicago State University, they all bear different details. Okay, oh, now so Atiku Abubaka, take talk this one. So, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers, now here we go take back our kaya and I go with the go. So, I beg, make sure I use this one to step down because we are coming back again with another blockbuster. Remember today, on Sunday, make sure say, you go watch it, your papa got there because without it, damn, we can never be surviving in this life. Now, then give us a free life, free air. They will breathe and many more will sleep and wake up in peace. So my wonderful people, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of Biafra and freedom, make on a do what, make on a make sure say, on a use on a two hand, both left and right, to saram this message, share it to your family and friends, to everyone that cares to know what is happening, to everyone that cares to understand that the Ahanese Ndibu have woken up from their sleeping slumber because before they have been sleeping and snoring. Now they have realized that they need to put everything about them or everything that concerns them at risk to make sure that their own son their own illustrious son who is not fighting for himself but fighting for over 70 million people is being released from detention that are being held in the solitary confinement of the state security service so my good people of biafra and my good people of uh, the world let me not let me not call that a uh, flannel control the government of nigeria they are not the charge they are uh, 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 they are just a bunch of scallywags. Anyway, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers, please help me share this message. Like, comment, and also make sure you subscribe. It is very, very important and very, very necessary. That I come here, we're going to see the men who could the little Make on a do what? Make on a you this one. The praise Baba Godet. I'll be right back. Have a nice day. Bye for now.